Well, hello everyone. Today I am sharing with you five areas or things that are cluttering your life today or your house. So stay tuned to see what areas you can declutter and that can stress free your house and your life today. All right, so the first area to declutter in your life is toys. Now, as a newer mom, I have gotten quite a few toys as hand-me-downs and gifts, and I just think that children do not need a lot of toys. Something I've heard that I'm going to be implementing as my daughter gets a little bit older, she's only nine months, is to tuck some toys away in storage in a tote, and then maybe six months later, rotate the ones you have currently out and put those ones away so that it feels like they have new toys every so often and I only have one basket of toys in our living room and then she has a couple in her bedroom but I try to keep it at a minimum because they like things that are not toys anyways like spatulas and measuring spoons and boxes so keep your toys at a minimum or declutter donate to charity give to other families or friends who don't have as many toys as gifts to if you don't want as many of those toys. So that's the first one. The second area to declutter is your clothing. Now, unless you are a minimalist, we as Americans have way too many clothes in our closet. I am culprit of that. Being a thrifter, I often fill my wardrobe with lots of variety and I do wear quite a few. There's sometimes where I don't wear the same outfit in three whole weeks. So I am a victim to getting too many clothes. But I think the less you have, the more you feel you are getting out of them and actually using what you have and then your space is more clean so maybe pair it down to a couple pairs of pants and five tops instead of eight pairs of pants and 20 tops whatever number works for you i know i need to continue to work on this myself and realize that there's people out there who need clothes and it's okay to donate those or if you want to make a little money off of them try selling them on like Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace or something if you want a little income off of those clothing items. So that would be the second area that is cluttering your home or your life. The third is your appliances. So a lot of people have way too many kitchen appliances covering their counters and just taking up that valuable space that you could be using in your house to cook on instead of feeling like you can't cook on your countertops. So I feel like I have a good handle on this. I do not keep any appliances on my countertops. If we need something, I pull it out of our cupboard to use it. And there's just appliances I don't have that I don't really feel like I need. And we like coffee, but we don't use a coffee maker. We use a French press, so we don't have that even on our countertops. Just think of a place that you could store it in a cupboard possibly, or if you don't use a crock pot or a slow cooker, except maybe once every five months, do you really need one? Although I do recommend them, they are really nice. Or what about that uh, food processor? Do you use that or your whatever it may be? Do you use it enough to actually have it? If not, think of donating it or selling it again, like I said, because otherwise it's just causing you clutter and stress in your life. And speaking of storing things in a pantry, the fourth area that we have too much clutter in our lives in is our pantry or food storage area. So we often buy things as Americans when they're on sale and just fill, fill, fill our pantries till they're overloaded. And then when you feel like, oh, I don't know what I have back there, and you end up pulling stuff out, they're years old or something you bought, like for some reason we bought Spam once, two years ago. It's still in my cupboard today, thinking we might try it, but why is it in there? Just because it's something we might try? So no, we're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna declutter and get rid of some of those canned items, donate them to food pantry, as long as it's not, it's not expired, and give it to someone who needs it because do we really need 20 cans of tomato soup? Unless your family of like four plus, then no, probably not. Um, or if you have a lot of the space, but in your pantry in the kitchen, 
don't overload it don't fill it so when you open those cupboards you just feel bombarded with what you have all right and the fifth area that is cluttering and crowding your life is actually social media there are some things on facebook or instagram or whatever you look at that is cluttering and stressing you out in your life maybe it's those negative comments that you see or negative articles what i would do and what i have done is get rid of either that app or that website and just rid yourself of that clutter of negativity or people that are cluttering your life on that social media content area and it's hard to not get sucked into that and feel like oh I don't look as good as that mom on there or oh do I really need to be reading all these books in my life to help improve or whatever it may be that is the biggest area I feel like in our lives that are cluttering and stressing us out so declutter those today whether it be a friend on that Facebook or whether it be just whole Facebook in general and just get rid of it um, it causes so much stress and comparison in our lives and I know that's something I need to work on because it's easy for us to compare our lives with other people we see so anyways those are the five areas or things that are cluttering our life today or our homes that we should work on or declutter this new year and this 2020 and actually for the rest of our lives so I hope you can take these and implement them into your lives today and comment below some areas that you could add to that list or places or things you could add to that list anyways give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this or found it motivational also, if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. Hit that red button, share this video, and I will come at you with another video later this week. Alright, bye!